Hey, mini fish. Still the 29th of December. And, uh, you know, I'm just checking my headlines this afternoon. And uh, yesterday just uh, made a video pointing out the uh, 777 connection to the 30th with the Bataclan Paris attacks as well as the Mumbai attacks. And uh, I see here in the paper, or in the drudge rather, uh, controversial film on Bataclan Massacre postponed. And what do you think the chances of that coming out right now would be? Hmm? It's not the anniversary of this uh, massacre or anything like that. It just came out. And it's very, very uh, strange, to say the least. And I show you these things because this is what I'm shown to show you. And you need to use discernment. Uh, me personally... I'm the messenger, um, but I know that there are things coming that are truly going to leave people's hearts in their mouths. It's just a matter of time. But they rele they wanted to release this movie on that whole episode, and they postponed it because of uh, people, you know, it's... It's, you know, hurts our feelings and stuff like that, which I get it. I do. It's stupid to make movies about stuff like that anyway, in my opinion. But I digress. The the uh, movie was going to be called, is called, actually. Apparently, it's still going to come out. You just don't know when. It's called That Night. And, you know, very rarely am I, you know, moved to use Gematria, um, I show you a lot of numerology because they speak in these languages. Uh, it's ancient. It's as old as any scripture you'll find, and it's how they work in the dark. It's one of their ways. Numbers and symbols. That's, it's just that simple. Um, the only problem is, is they are rotten, dirty, dark, and dishonest, even with each other. So a lot of their language, it's, it's very hard to decipher. But my spirit tells me that there is a supreme buildup in this little dark world uh, to something quite big. So they call in the movie that night, where this is where 130 people got killed. Remember the 13? That's that plays big into this. So I plug the that night into the gematria, and I only use the the Jewish uh, equivalents, you know, when I do this. Unless, of course, there's an obvious pattern in all three. But typically, I only use the Jewish because it's the oldest and it's the one that the dark powers use the most. And uh, it comes out to 373, which is a pretty powerful set of numbers. I mean, but the most power it has is the fact that it's 13. Okay? So, I put up this video about the 777. We're seeing 13s all over the place. And now they come out and say they're postponing a movie to it. Now, you can call that a coincidence if you want. But I was also talking about the uh, Mumbai attacks as well in this video. In 2008, the 777 connection. And lo and behold, this morning they have uh, a really, really bad fire in Mumbai that kills 15 people and of course again it's very weird very strange it has to be at a nightclub right on the roof of a nightclub which is just you know it's all here everything will be linked but so I get Mumbai and in Paris the day after I'm showing you a pattern of how they work and to me these things they pretty much verify to me that there is or was a plan in place for this time frame for these next few days in my humble opinion and when they say words like postponed they may mean actually postponing the operation but something this big that I feel is coming it's virtually impossible at this point to hold off all of it. So we may not see, like, the big kaboom, but you're going to see some stuff. We already have. We already got a suspicious fire. 
over there in Mumbai, and they're talking about the Bataclan right at this 777 junction. The anniversary is in November. They're, this has nothing to do with the anniversary of it. So I find that extremely coincidental. So I just needed to share this stuff with you. And uh, I could go on. Uh, in fact, I think I'll show you one more thing. In one of these articles about the Bataclan, this one right here, actually, they show an image down here of the front of the theater with a little shrine out there for the, all the dead. And uh, Bataclan, I just got to looking at it. And numerologically, it's pretty interesting. It's 2121 or 33 Bata. And clan, uh, what is he? 33 and a 1 and a 5. So it's straight across 666. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3. Then the straight up 33. And then the 4, or the 5, and the 1. 6, 666. Six, six, six. Bata clan. Very strange, I thought. And one more thing, and this is just how my mind works, and I share it with you, that's all. What was the other one? Oh yeah, that night. If you take that night, not only is it 13 in Gematria, but it's also a, uh, what do you call it, in numerology, this is very interesting. <laughs> if you spell it all out, you know, it's 2, 8, 1, 2, 5, 9, seven eight two those are the numbers to that night okay if you put those numbers together two eight one two that is thirteen you put night together five nine seven eight two it's thirty one thirteen backwards thirteen thirty one upside down backwards you see where i'm coming from the double thirteen I personally think that this this whole thing is on and that we're going to see an, uh, an incident, an event, if you will, in these next couple few days. So I am re 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 or whatever it is. I guess it would be re re But, oh, one more thing I want to share with you guys. Sorry. This here, thousands pray at Western Wall for rain to break drought, right? Pretty pretty big event they had just uh, yesterday there. Thousands, and I, and I want, I'm going to link this. You really want to read this because it's quite something really. This rabbi says, I call on the public to participate in this event on the 10th of Tibet. Ariel said when announcing the event early this week and to bring umbrellas because together we will tear open the gates of heaven. That just struck me as a very strange thing to say. And earlier I was reading Jeremiah because that article got me stuck on Jeremiah. So I'm in Jeremiah 5. And no lie, here you go, right here, 524. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our God that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, the rain, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that setteth snares. They set a trap. They catch men as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. Okay? I'll try and leave a link even to this chapter here, Jeremiah 5, okay? Now that is just a trip. So, on top of all that other stuff we've been seeing in Jerusalem, that matches up pretty good to me. Man, all links in the description. Please look into these things for yourself. Please use discernment in all things. 
Seek Jesus if you don't know him. You are going to need him. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 